But let's talk about the Aztecs. Big win last night against New Mexico. Huge game coming up later this week against Colorado State. Joining us right now is Aztecs assistant coach Dave Velasquez. And coach, uh, congratulations on a very impressive win last night. I know the coaches always like to downplay a few things, but the one guy that really stood out to us last night was Keyshawn. Uh, a double-double, 14 points and 10 rebounds. I know we've had this discussion all season long about his role on this team. Did you feel like last night may have been a breakout game in terms of him maybe adding a little bit more to his game? Yeah, well, you would hope that uh, that Keyshot has it has a lot more of those games. You know, we, we've seen some glimpses of, of it. We saw that at UNLV. He was Mount West Player of the Week after that game, had a double-double that night. Uh, but yeah, I think Keyshaw's just continue to get more and more comfortable out there. And again, we got him more around the basket now. He's not on the perimeter as much, and I feel like it's put him in uh, positions to get more rebounds, put him in position to finish around the basket better. So I think uh, he's, Keyshaw's doing a great job for us. And the one place he's really grown his game, which is hard to see, is his defense has been outstanding all season long. So it was great to see him have some offensive production. But he's, Keyshaw's been really good for us all year. Coach, you've been around a lot of successful teams, and I know it's still early in this season. But is this a tournament team? When you walk around that locker room, when you walk around the jam center at practice, when you see the way this team plays on court, do you think this is a team that can be playing in March? Well, we expect to, and and we expect to by how well our defense plays, and that's that's obviously the strength of this team. Uh, you know, last night I think that's what fourth or fifth team that we've played this year that we've hold, held them to their lowest point total of the season, and uh, yeah, our defense is our defense is definitely you know, good enough to play in March and it's playing March, not just playing March, but winning March. It's just our offensive production needs to continue to be consistent. And, uh, but when you're, you're, you're a player at San Diego state, your coach at San Diego state, you never ever not think about playing in March. I mean, you want to be playing your best basketball in March. We continue to get better every season throughout the year. And uh, that's why we've always given ourselves a chance to play in March a lot. And, and, and this season is no different than that. And we do expect to be playing in March. You're not the only school, obviously, that has had uh, periods where you had to shut things down because of the COVID situation. But just from a coaching standpoint, how challenging was that? I mean, you only played a couple of games during a one-month period. Now you're having to make up a lot of these games with some extra fill-in games. But how how challenging has that been in just sort of, you know, keeping the players on track? Yeah, it's 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 strange, but it's I mean, we we are in strange times right now. It was different to be having a two week break in March. I mean, in January, excuse me, uh, coming off arguably our best game of the season. You know, a thirty point win against Colorado State. So it was, uh, it's uh, it was definitely a challenging time for us, like you had mentioned. But at this point, we're past that. We've moved past that. We, we you know we we played four games since then, and uh, again, we got to continue to find a rhythm and stay in rhythm throughout the rest of the season and. And when we're in rhythm and we're playing and we're clicking on both ends of the floor, we are a hard team to beat and we're a fun team to watch play. Yeah, there's no question about it. I mean, defense is the the common denominator. Every game you watch your team play, it's just ferocious defensively. There are those moments, though, when you guys get out of rhythm or it just doesn't feel like there's – I don't know what it is. I, I I guess I'll ask that question. What is it that you think knocks – your team out of rhythm offensively sometimes? You know, I, I think it's like any, you know, when you, when you talk about great offense, and you talk about moving the ball side to side of the floor, when you talk about being great in transition, I think we're at our best, and I think sure our fans like it the most, when we're getting stops and we're getting out scoring in transition. Yeah. You know, if you, if you look back at that Boise State game, where you don't even want to talk about the fact that you scored 37, we scored 37 points in, in a 40-minute basketball game, but we had zero transition baskets. You look up last night, I mean, we had 15 points off of turnovers and transition within, you know, the first 10 minutes of the game. And so, you know, getting out in transition, getting stops, getting out in transition, I think is something that we're continuing to improve and emphasize every day of practice and in the film room. And then the other thing is just on offense, we have to move the defense side to side to side. I mean, they, everybody can guard you on the first side of the, you know, we're really hard to score on the first side. But if you start moving us, two, three, four sides, you know, kind of like Utah State did. I mean, it's it's hard to guard anybody. And, I, I, you know, again, for our offense, we will continue to improve, but it's all about, you know, ball movement, player movement, side to side, plus scoring in transition. And when we do those things, 
You know, I think it's uh, our team. You, you can see our athleticism. You can see Matt Bradley getting downhill, Trey Pulling, Lamont Butler, and then you get Nate Mitzel and Keyshot around the rim. I mean, it's it's a fun team to watch. It is, absolutely. Dave Velasquez joining us, Aztecs assistant basketball coach. You know, last night after the game, and obviously there were some impressive numbers for you, including 19 assists on 26 field goals. That's a very impressive stat. But after the game, Dutch seemed to still be hurting about the offensive rebounds. I don't think he's gotten over that Utah State game where you had zero. I mean, I, I don't even remember a game like a team had no offensive rebounds the entire game. I think you might have had five or six last night, but it, it seems like that is still sticking with Coach Dutch that uh, you guys need to do a lot more uh, as far as offensive rebounds are concerned? No question. And, and a lot of that has to do with, you know, our, you know, we're not, we don't have the snipers around the three-point line out there like usual. You know, there's a lot of fun years with guys like uh, Jordan Shackle and you know, Mitchell, I think, was a finish around a 40% three-point shooter and Terrell Gomez last year, just used last year, for an example. And so when we have these opportunities, these good shots, we should be finding a way to get more offensive rebounds. You know, we're generating good shots most of the time. We just have to find a way to get offensive rebounds. And, again, a lot of that is, a lot of that is kind of a feel for where the ball is going to miss. You know, it's not necessarily going every time. I feel like our guys get great effort every single game. It's, it's just getting them to learn, be more, you know, confident in where that ball is going to miss and just run one down. You know, a lot of the times, you know, the best offensive rebounders aren't the ones just battling underneath the rim the ones the best ones are the ones that are able to track a ball down from the perimeter or just know where that ball's going to miss before anyone else can go get it and yeah coach dutch is uh he, he's not going to let those guys in that locker room live down that zero offensive rebound <laughs> performance on 26 minutes i, I don't think i i think i'm going to be working for him a, a long time and i'm going to hear about that game forever but you know that game was so much more than that at utah state our transition defense was as bad as we've been all year and you know you have those games and you know, Rich, you know, as an athlete, it's just th those bad nights happen. You, you don't want them to ever happen, but in reality they do, and you learn from them and you get better. And, and hopefully, I, in, judging from last night's performance, our team did. Our team was better around the offensive glass, and our team was a lot better in transition defense. Talking with Aztecs assistant Dave Velasquez, huge game coming up this Friday. But you know what? I'd rather hear it in your words. How big is this? <laughs> well, again, you, gotta you talk about a team, Colorado State, when we played them, uh, you know, you're, they are undefeated, had not been beat. So they, they're playing the team that broke their undefeated streak. And now you put on top of it, they've now lost to UNLV at home last week. They lost last night to Wyoming. And they still expect to win this league. Well, the only way for them to put themselves in a position to do that is to beat us on Friday. So their level of desperation is going to be through the roof to beat us. For all the reasons mentioned above, plus they're just a really, really good smart, uh, older basketball team. But with all that being said, yeah, it's a huge game for us as well because we expect to win the league, you know, and, and we dropped the home game against Boise and at Utah State, and we expect to go in there and find a way to get a win. And, and our guys are – the way our guys prepare and, and the competitiveness of our team, our group, I, I know we'll be ready, and I know it'll be an exciting game. And, and Moby out there in Colorado State, Moby Arena is going to be jumping. And, you know, our guys – and you know, our guys love those type of atmospheres. You know, we're not going to shy away from the moment. And our guys are going to be excited to play them as, just as much as they're excited to try to get some revenge on us. Well, under Coach Dutcher and even going back to the Coach Fisher days, uh, and Dave, you've been a part of all this, once the calendar turns to February, usually we start seeing the best of Aztecs basketball all the way into March. And, Coach, as always, we appreciate your time. Good luck against Colorado State on Friday. I appreciate you guys for having me. And go Aztecs.